this video is sponsored by E-Wing Racing. More on them later in the video. My friends, one of the most important Nintendo Directs is around the corner. And if rumors are true, and by the way, we should just stop calling them rumors. When Nintendo has a February Direct every year, a June Direct every year, and a September Direct every year. Okay, with that said, it's around the corner and we should be expecting something big and great from Nintendo. Now, it is my opinion that this might be the very last Nintendo Direct for the Nintendo Switch. Now, why do I think this? Well, Shintaro Furukawa, the president of Nintendo of Japan, stated that he will continue to support the Nintendo Switch until the fiscal year ending in 2025. Now, that's next year, but the fiscal year ending in 2025 starts next month in march towards the end of march so at the end of march is when that fiscal year that ends in 2025 starts therefore we already have a game for march for march which is princess peach showtime we have a game for this month we have a game we had a game for for january and now we have two games that are up in the air without a date which is paper mario thousand year door and Luigi's Mansion. Now, that right there is half of Nintendo's calendar year because I normally don't count December. Nintendo has not been releasing a game in December for the past, I'll say, three years. They've ended their releases in November. And therefore, if we take away November or December, by the way, then November would be the last game that they would announce for this year, for this console, right? For the, the Nintendo Switch. And therefore, what this direct represents is unfinished business for the nintendo switch now before we get to this unfinished business here is a quick word from our sponsor and a really cool unboxing you might enjoy let me ask you a question are you comfortable right now sitting in the chair that you're sitting on because i know comfort i mean i have my ewing chair right over there but what if i told you that ewing just made an even more comfortable chair impossible you want proof okay there it is. It's in that box. You want me to open it? Okay. Hey. Ah. Hey. By the way, when opening your box, do not stab it like that. I can do it because I'm an expert, but you can't. And some really cool gloves. Ready. It also comes with this little box here with everything you need to put it together, like the tools, hydraulics, screws, and a lot more. So you're good to go. Introducing Ewing's latest office and gaming chair, the Flash XL. Now with a removable armrest for easy cleaning and adjustment. Now with an adjustable armrest that you can adjust side to side or its height for best comfort. And for those of you who need a little extra back support, now you can adjust this knob right here for extra lumbar support. With the new magnetic slow rounded memory foam head pillow, you can find your own adjustment to be as comfortable as you want. This is the Flash XL from E-Wing Racing. What are you waiting for? Take advantage of their Valentine's Day where you get 20% off E-Wing chairs plus an additional 25% when you use code Odyssey at checkout. Thank you, Ewing Racing, for sponsoring this video. Now, what is unfinished business for the Nintendo Switch? We all have games we want to see come to Switch before the final game releases are announced. Now, let me make this clear. The final game releases I'm talking about are first-party games, Nintendo first-party games. And yet, Nintendo might have said that in the past, but we don't know whether they will continue to serve Twitch with games. There's a big possibility they will. And so with this, what games will we see in the Nintendo Direct? There have been rumored games that Nintendo um, has been sitting on and they haven't completed. And I'm talking about this going back to, I would say 2022, 
uh, when we first started hearing about the Metroid Prime and and other games that Nintendo is planning on bringing bring to the Switch, uh, when it comes to ports, remakes, and other games as well. So, with that said, I would tell you that I, there's a big possibility we'll see Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. We don't know whether we'll see one or the other, or we'll see them as a dual pack. But there's a big possibility we'll see them in this Nintendo Direct. I believe these games are part of Nintendo's unfinished business. Now, there are other games out there like The Legend of Zelda, The Oracle Season, and Oracle of Ages Remake. And I don't think, I'm not in the that train yet. I don't believe that they will be on Nintendo Switch at this end. If they are going to remake these two titles, which by the way are great titles and very underrated titles, I believe that those games should be made available on Nintendo Switch 2. Now that we are we are there now, we are at the finale, right? We are about to cross the finish line with the Nintendo Switch, and therefore, just wait. Let's just wait for those games for Nintendo Switch 2. They will be a lot better. They will look a lot better. They will play a lot better. And so, with the new mechanics of that, no, the brand new controllers or whatever Nintendo decides to do with this brand new console, which, by the way, it's already done. Nintendo is already mass producing these consoles and are, they are already to present it to us. And so what, whatever this console has to offer, I, I, I am so sure that every game will look so much better. And so with that, I also believe that Nintendo has the unfinished business of telling us about Metroid, right? Metroid F Prime 4 is a game that needs to be in this Nintendo Direct, although yes it is a brand new game i believe that's going to be the best the best and the big biggest metroid game out there i do believe that nintendo should dual release this game right we have on switch 2 with higher graphical power and, and and better visuals and maybe 4k upscaling and all this little really nice stuff that people like to you know on their consoles and their visuals and stuff and maybe on a nintendo switch a, a, a lower model right one that could actually be compatible and play well on the switch and so metro prime 4 needs to at least appear in one way or another even if it's just a hey here is the update on metro prime 4 we are still working on it expected this year or next year but we need to hear something about metro prime 4 i think it's time that we do uh, other games that are out there, of course, that Nintendo apparently has been sitting on and it's done is the Metroid Prime 1, uh, 2 and 3, sorry, 2 and 3, and I believe those games are done, and so hopefully we see those games also being ported to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, not remakes like the Metroid Prime Remaster, but more like an HD version of the game, right? And so there, there are so many games we could add to this calendar list, but the one thing we should take away from all this is that it is probably the Nintendo's Switch's last Direct, right? And so there, the the possibilities of the games that we might see here are are are, are, are limitless. There's there's really no telling what Nintendo will do. I mean, you, I'm pretty sure you've heard so many predictions lists that other content creators have told you. I've just told you about a couple of games that were rumored by people and insiders who've actually predicted games in the past that have come to Nintendo Switch, for example, Metro Prime. And, and so those are the games that I wanted to bring up because I know that there's a bigger possibility of those games making it, right? Um, so, but the, the, the reality is that there's just, it's just the, the, the possibilities are endless. Nintendo can go anywhere, they can do anything, and they might issue a Nintendo Direct Mini. Right, and they'll just kind of focus on third-party games. Give us the release dates for Mario, Paper Mario, and Luigi's Mansion, and that call it a day. And that's the end of the Switch, right? But again, they can also give us the best Nintendo Switch Direct we've ever had. And so, with that, guys, I want to know from you: What do you guys believe this Nintendo Direct could be? What games would you love to see? Do we? Are we focused on third-party games like Hollow Knight Soul Song, which never made it to the Switch? We are at the end already. We all also games like uh, that Soyo Hoyo, sorry, Hoyoverse game. I just can't. I, I'm not too crazy about that name. Hoyoverse, right? That Hoyoverse game. You guys know what game I'm talking about. I just can't think about that at the moment. But um, 
I want to know, guys. Let me know in the com below in the comments. We can continue this conversation down below. And so, Wednesday, the seventh, is the potential the Nintendo Direct. We will be here live streaming it for all of you, having some fun and and just making a really good event here for all of you. So I hope to see you there. If we if it does happen, we'll be streaming it. And then yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for spending some time with me here in the Odyssey. I hope you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today, and I'll see you in the next one. But before, never give up and journey on. Peace.